Hi YouTube, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, we're going to set up a C, C++ development environment in Windows 11. So the first thing you want to do is open up the browser here, and I'm going to search for WinLibs. And there's a site, winlibs.com, that provides the GCC plus MinGW compiler for Windows. So let's click on that. Now, if we go down here, and scroll down, you'll see that we have some releases and you have the 7-zip archive and the zip archive. Uh, if you want to use 7-zip, you can click on this. It'll bring you to the site. You can download it. Click open. After you agree to have 7-zip make changes to your computer, you're going to be uh, prompted with this installation wizard. I'm going to click install. And it's installed. I'll click close. I'll hit the back button here. And I have a 64-bit computer, so I'm going to download the 64-bit 7-zip archive. If you have a 32-bit, you can download that one. So I'm going to download the 64-bit. Okay, once that's downloaded, you can go to your downloads folder here. And you'll see, you can get rid of the 7-zip installer, so I'm just going to trash that. This one, I'm going to right-click and extract all. I'm going to uncheck show extracted files when complete. You could give that check, but I'll extract it. Okay, once it's completely extracted, you go into the zip folder here and you have this mingw64 folder. Uh, if it's 32 bit, it'll probably say 32. I'm going to just highlight this, copy it, go down to this PC, click on here, and I want to go to my program files and I'm going to paste it in. And it's going to ask for administrator permission. I'm going to click continue. Okay, once it's entirely copied, we're going to find the mingw folder. I'm going to right click and copy as path. And then I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to, in my search bar, search for environment variables. And this will pop up edit the system environment variables. I'm going to click open. And you should be on this advanced tab in system properties. I'm going to click environment variables. And down here under systems variables, I'm going to click on path and click edit. And I'm going to click new. And I'm going to paste in the address. And then I'm going to take the quotes off. So there's a quote at the start at the end. And I'm going to go to the end here and do a slash and do bin. And I'm going to click OK, then OK then OK. OK, now I want to check that uh, C, uh, the compiler is installed properly. So I'm going to go to the search bar here and type CMD and click Open. And I'm going to type GCC hyphen V. And here we go. We see that we have GCC version 13.2.0. Um, clear some of the stuff out. CLS. And um, I cleared the stuff out there with CLS. I'm now going to type GDB hyphen V for the debugger. Okay, so we see we have um, GDB from NGW. Uh, so everything looks good. I'm going to click exit here to exit the command prompt. And we have C installed. Our next step is to install Visual Studio Code. Okay, so I can close out the WinLib site. And I'm going to search for VS Code. And I'm going to actually go to the site, code.visualstudio.com. I'm going to download for Windows. OK, once it's downloaded, let's go to the Downloads folder. So we'll go to the Downloads. I can get rid of these two Win zip files. I'm going to trash those. And I'm going to right click and open the VS Code setup file. It's going to ask me if I accept the agreement. I will. I'll click Next. I'm going to keep this path where they're going to install it the same. I'll click Next. I'll keep uh, Visual Studio Code the same. I'll click Next. I'm going to add Open with Code. And Open with Code, you don't need to do this, but I like to do it. And I'm going to create a desktop icon. I'll click Next. And I'll click Install. OK. Uh, I'm going to leave Launch Visual Studio Code checked. And I'm going to click Finish. OK, so we've got VS Code installed. Now that VS Code is installed, you can work through this uh, welcome screen. I'm going to maximize this. I'm just going to click Mark Done. And now we've got this welcome screen that comes up. 
I'm going to open a folder. And let's just create a folder on the desktop. Let's call this C-Programs. And include our C and C++ programs here. I'm going to select the folder. It's going to ask me if I trust the author, so I'm going to say yes. Uh, I'm going to close out the welcome screen now. And let's create, first let's do a C program, and then we'll do C++. So I'm going to do test.c. And as soon as I do that, it's going to ask me, do I want to install the recommended C, C++ extension pack from Microsoft for the C language? I'm going to click install. Now, if that doesn't pop up, you can go to your extensions. And this is one of the most popular extensions. It will probably show up right when the extensions load. If not, search for C uh, extension pack from Microsoft, and you should find it. So now it's installed. Um, it's going to ask me at the time of this recording, at least, if I'm going to use the pre-release version, I'm going to say no. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to start to type out a C program here. So let me make this a little larger, okay? And you'll see it's activating the extensions in the lower corner as well. And I'm going to include the standard input output header file. And you'll see it, it started to give me IntelliSense there, okay? Let's see, if I type main, okay, so now it's giving me this code snippet for main. I'm going to hit tab, and you'll see it gives me uh, this whole whole thing here. So, you know, it, it gives me with the command line arguments that I could enter. You don't need to necessarily put this, but it's a nice little touch. I type print F, and I'm going to say, hi, my name is Tim. Uh, actually, let me do percent S. We'll do it that way, and then I'll do a slash n for new line character, and then I'll pass in the string Tim and put a semicolon at the end here. Now I can go up here. I have from this extension, I have this play button. So I'm going to go down to run C or C++ file, and it's going to ask me to select a debug configuration. I'm going to choose the one for GCC. They also have the one for Clang. Um, which we did install with um, the MinGW. And see, it's detecting even the path that it's in. So it's in the program files, MinGW in the bin, GCC. I'm going to select GCC. Now, the first time this runs, um, it's going to take a little bit of time. Okay. Um, so Insult's giving me this message. Some status bar options in CMake Tools have now moved to the project status view in CMake Tools sidebar. You can customize your view with cmake.options property in the settings. So that's something to know. Um, and I'm going to say not, not now for this. And um, right now, not in this workspace. Okay, so now it's run through. If I go to the terminal here, you'll see, hi, my name is Tim. So the first time it will run through. And if we look at the sidebar here, it's created me a test.exe file. And if I want, want to run the .exe file, I'm going to do a a, uh, let me just, actually, let me just do, clear this out. I'm going to do a dot forward slash test, and I can run it that way, okay? And it says, hi, my name is Tim, okay? Um, if I want to get rid of that, I can just delete it, move it to the recycle bin, and you know, I can go ahead and run again, okay? And you'll see, hi, my name is Tim. So now it's, actually, came down here. Uh, so now it's running some simple C programs. Let's test it out for C++. Okay, so let's actually let's close this folder and we'll create a C++ folder. So I'm going to do a Control K and then F. That's going to close the folder, and then Control K, Control O, open. I'm going to go to Desktop. Let's create a CPP dash programs folder. Uh, I'll select that one. It's going to ask me if I trust the authors. I'm going to say yes. Okay. And now I'll create a C++ program. Okay. Now that I'm in this folder, I'm going to create a new file. Let's call this test.cpp for C++. Uh, we're going to do an include statement. We're going to include iostream. So it's giving me that selection. Uh, I can type my main, and it's going to give me that main snippet. And then I'm going to type std colon colon c out and then two left arrows here and say hi my name is Tim and do a new line character and a semicolon here 
and now let's uh, run and build it or build and run it. Uh, so I'm going to click run CC++ file here. And it's going to ask me again, just like it did with the C, to select uh, which one I want to use. And I want to use the G++ compiler. So I'm going to pick this one. And it's going to give me this message again. Uh, I don't need to see that. I need that. And not right now. And let's go to the terminal. And you see it's run. Hi, my name is Tim. And it's created this test.exe file. So if I can do test, that's going to say, hi, my name is Tim. Now this is a, the one in the C++ folder. Again, if I want to get that and just delete it, cycle bin, and I want to run this again, it's going to run a little bit faster the second time once it's all set up. So, hi, my name is Tim. Created the test.exe file again. So this is a very basic setup, but you're ready to go with some simple C and C++ programs. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.